Hello there and welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and today on this little film I'm looking at wines up to £10 uh, across all of the supermarkets and in this film we're looking at Asda, the wine range at Asda. So um, really interesting wine range at Asda, we know what they are, they're a, a big brand supermarket um, and they, their wines across the range are pretty good at the lower price point so it's really good for us on the drinker. So, um, the first wine I'm going to look at is, uh, it's a Rueda, from Rueda in Spain, and it's uh, Verdeo, is the grape variety. Uh, this is part of the Asda's Extra Special range. Pretty much all of the wines that are labelled up Extra Special in Asda are pretty good across the board. They hit the, the, the price point really well, they're usually under £10, and they're usually really good in terms of the typicity and the kind of style of wine that you, you'd want from each of the different extra special wines. So this one, Verdeo, white grape variety, is it's beautiful and elegant and peachy. And it's got, it's dry, but it's got some, um, a little hint of sort of tropicality to it. Where this... That's really good. Where this, where this grape grows, you have really um, contrasting day-night temperatures and that makes for really interesting grape uh, development as, as they ripen. And this is fresh and dry and light. It comes in at £6. £6 a bottle, that's a, a smashing wine for the, uh, for the money. Perfect drinking party Christmas wine. Um, and the next wine, again, is a lovely, lovely sort of party wine. This is pretty much my house white. It's called Kakapo, and on the front you've got a lovely green Kakapo parrot. For those of you who buy wines just on pretty labels, this is one of the greats. Um, it's a Sauvignon Blanc it's from New Zealand, where the Kakapo parrot comes from. And they've done something very clever here, in that they've just added a tiny bit of Riesling. And so, with the sort of grapefruitiness of the Sauvignon Blanc, comes a little sort of steely undercurrent. And it really, it really shapes the wine up nicely. It gives it extra complexity on, on both nose and palate. It's, it's generous with its acidity, but there's enough fruit to balance that out and it works really well. It usually comes in at around six pounds, six pounds 50. They quite often have it on offer. I've not seen it ever more, more expensive than six pounds 50. It's a, it's a smashing wine. It's, it's just interesting. It's, it's something to give people that tastes of something. Far too many white wines out there don't really taste of anything very much. This does in a really good way. It's understated, it's fresh, it's fruit, fruity, it's vibrant. Lovely, lovely wine. Moving along, we are taking a trip to Italy for this lovely extra special Primitivo. Primitivo, much underrated grape variety in my uh, opinion. There's a lot more of it about at the moment. In California, it's known as Zinfandel, um, but this is where it's grown um, sort of originally in Italy. And it's, it's a lovely jammy sort of wine. It's, you can sort of smell the baking hot Italian sun in this wine. These, these grapes really ripen fully. And I'm getting blueberry and and blackberry, and it's 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 got some tannin, but it's not too overbearing. It's got some really good fresh um, acidity to it. Goes really really well with Italian foods, and why not? And and next to it, we're staying in Italy, and this one is a Villa Vincini, and it's a Gran Rosso. It's from Veneto up in the north, and. Uh, this is one of those ones, it's a really heavy bottle, so be, don't be fooled. Sometimes we think, oh, it's heavy, it, it just triggers quality in our heads. This has got quality, um, but don't be fooled, because lots of supermarkets use that trick. And it's, oh, it's, it's a bit more compli complex than the Primitivo. The Primitivo comes in at, uh, at £6.50, this Villa Vincini comes in at £8, and you can kind of you can kind of smell the quality. It's got a little bit more restrained, sort of earthy tar note to it. A little bit of lovely wood smoke in the background. And on the palate, it's big and expressive and, and warming. It's, yeah, probably just a touch over 14% in alcohol. So it's, 
a sort of a, a, a good wintry wine. It's a good snuggle down in front of the fire wine. You could enjoy it on its own. It will work brilliantly with all kinds of food, and particularly red meats. Um, it's a, <clears throat> it's got everything you need, everything you'd want about uh, about a red wine from from Italy. Next up, we are in Provence in France. Always lovely Provence. These super smashing, lovely, beautiful bottles. Um, this is a perfectly lovely pale pink uh, number. It comes in at nine pounds a bottle. And it's lovely, lightly crushed red berries, fruity acidity. It's pretty, it's perfect. At nine pounds, it's possibly on the more expensive end of the range, but it's lovely Provence Rosé, very fashionable. Looks great, tastes great, oh, what's not to like? And lastly, hey, let's have some fizz. This time, it's Carver. Carver got very, very fashionable in, uh, in the 90s. Uh, and the point was it got fashionable, there was overproduction, the quality fell away, and as the quality fell away we sort of fell out of love with Carver, and Prosecco sort of took over as the, the new uh, fizz in town. But let me tell you, Carver is back, and this, this oh, it's made in the old-fashioned tra traditional Carver method, so same, pretty much the same as, as Champagne, slightly different grape varieties, but it's everything you want it to be. It's got beautiful acidity. It's not over acidic, which is a lot where a lot of people fell out of love with Carver. But it's got freshness and, and acidity. It's got enough sort of ripe green fruit and brioche around it. So it's a, it's slightly toasty, slightly yeasty. It's a lovely, beautiful wine. So Asda are doing great things at this price, kind of price point. And for Christmas, you could do a lot, lot worse um, than, than get yourself down to Asda, particularly their extra special range. So I'd, I'd look out for that. Um, go to my website, thedrinker.co.uk, click on the Asda button, and you'll find all of my recommendations from right across the different price points uh, for the supermarket there. And I would say stock up for Christmas and have a very merry one. Cheers now.